Performance USA, the greatest entertainers in America, as requested by you, the fighting men of the United States Armed Forces throughout the world. Command Performance, presented this week and every week, till it's over, over there. <laughs> Call for Johnny Doughboy, paging the U.S. Marine Corps, sailors, Coast Guardsmen, and the men of the Merchant Marine. Greetings to all you guys in the AEF and to our fighting brothers in the Allied Nations. It's command performance time in the USA, and right now time's a-wasting. So let's get rolling and answer a thousand or so of your letters by saying, your master of ceremonies tonight, Clark Gable. Thank you, Don Wilson. Hello, fellas. You know, in Hollywood, you used to hear a lot about percentages. 50% for this and 50% for that. But Hollywood today is just 100% for you guys over there. Now, I don't know how many of you have ever attended one of those Hollywood premieres, but tonight you've got a ringside seat at a, as big a premiere as I've ever seen. For the stars are not only out tonight, they're all out to answer those swell letters you send in to command performance. First... For Sergeant F.A.H. at APO 857. For Sergeant W.M. and the tank destroyers from Wisconsin. And for A.M. with the Canadian Army overseas, a little number called, He Loved Me Till the All Clear Came. And one of your favorite movie gals, Cass Daly. Take it, Cass. <laughs> It was getting dark when I heard the sirens moan. I ducked into a shelter, willy nilly, helter skelter, to find that I was not alone. There was someone next to me. <laughs> and though neither one of us could see, we sensed each other close at hand. And there within the gloom of that little blackout room. Love! And I played a one night stand. He loved me till the all clear came. He loved me till the all clear came. He had the strongest yen in the dark and then suddenly the all clear came he loved me till the lights went on i looked around and he had gone our story seemed to go like the picture show suddenly there came the dawn while i was brave as could be and trying to be merry there in the cozy dark i don't know if was he or an incendiary? But something found its mark. I didn't even get a scratch. And incidentally, that's the cat. But still, they've listed me as a casualty. Isn't that an awful shame? And I think I really loved him. I really, really loved him till the And drew close to me Suddenly the all clear came All through the raid He was a civilian inspector Telling me what to do But in the light He was a conscientious objector I mean the pictured woo Of course I didn't come to harm The air raid was a false alarm 
Lady So Was He. Thank you, Cass Daly. And thanks to Nathaniel Finston and the MGM Orchestra, appearing through the courtesy of Local 47. And now, here's a letter from Sergeant CFC. Dear Command Performance, down here in Aruba, I'm a very popular guy. I got hold of some secondhand radio equipment and it built me a short wave set. And when Command Performance is on, I really got lots of company in my barracks. But another very popular guy with my buddies is a fellow in Hollywood with a mustache bigger than the jungle brush down here. So how it's about giving us Jerry Colonna? Well, okay, Sarge. We have the professor right here with us, and you're going to hear from him very shortly. But, uh, Don, uh, what is this? It says uh, here that our nation's most eminent health authority is now Professor Jerry Colonna. Can that be? Well, why not, Clark? Professor Colonna is a fine specimen of a man, always in perfect health, always in great physical condition, and I'll prove it to you. Hey, Professor! Coming, coming. Iron in my blood. <laughs> well, uh, you don't look any too healthy today, Professor. Well, I'm a little upset, Don. You see, I received some bad news today. Uh, my mother and father's only son just went screwy. Your mother and father's only son? Why, Kelowna, that's you. Gad, yeah, the news is worse than I thought. Ah, <laughs> oh, Professor, you've gone hog wild. Sir, you're speaking of the woman I love. Well, getting back to health, Professor. Do you take much exercise lately? Why, certainly. I just bought myself a wonderful horse. We go riding every morning, but I'll have to give it up. It's a little too strenuous for me. What's so strenuous about riding on a horse? Oh, I'm supposed to ride on him? <laughs> well, what other forms of exercise do you indulge in these days? Weed lip? Uh, bicycling. I love bicycling. Ever, ever since my father gave me a present of a bicycle built for two 20 years ago. 20 years ago, your father gave you a bicycle built for two? Who sits on the other seat? Man from the finance company. <laughs> Well, you know, Professor, for a health expert, you look pretty pale. Have you been staying inside the last three or four weeks? Yes, burlesque show. For three weeks? Why, Colonna, what could there possibly be in a burlesque show that would keep a man there for three whole weeks? Fresh popcorn. Oh. <laughs> Colonna, I'm highly indignant. Glad to meet you, highly indignant. I know your brother, highly Selassie. <laughs> Colonna, now, you're nothing but a halfwit. Why, you're only two steps from an idiot. Well, I'll back away from you a little. Professor, I can't stomach you. Why not? There's room there for both of us. <laughs> no use talking to you, Colonna. You're absolutely senseless. Oh, now, Don, you wouldn't say that if you knew that I was left on a doorstep here in Hollywood. Oh, now, Colonna, why didn't I know? Why, uh, when was that? Last night. Got slapped, too. <laughs> Colonna, you're positively preposterous. Positively preposterous. Thanks, and you must let me give you a shower bath sometime. <laughs> Colonna, this is all too ridiculous. If you really are a health expert, now how about giving me some health exercises? Okay. Take a deep breath. Now take another deep breath. Now another deep breath. Don't I smell pretty? <laughs> now really, Professor, you must have some legitimate breathing exercises. I have a very simple one. All you do is pick up a trombone and start playing it. But who knows how to play a trombone? Oh, nothing to it. You just pick up a trombone, like this. Then a four-barred introduction by our eminent pianist, Arthur Shett. Raise it to your lips. Surprised? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Mustache drags. Weed 
it is. 